Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Mahai MP4 player. This is um, also a dedicated, of course, MP3 player, and the packaging here is quite impressive. It comes in capacities of 8, 16, and 32 gigabytes, can be further expanded upon using a micro SD card slot on the side, which is quite versatile, and it comes on Amazon at a price point of around 25 bucks and up, so it's not too expensive either. The packaging here is pretty petite and impressive for such a low cost and no frills digital MP3 media player. Uh, underneath here we have access to a delicately packaged instruction manual that tells you how to set things up, use the various feature. Other features do include the ability to have an FM radio so you can listen to tracks. Uh, there's also a built-in speaker on here which is kind of new and I haven't seen before but you can play back music directly using a mono speaker on the back. It also includes a voice recorder function since there is a dedicated microphone as well and there's also a few preloaded apps including an alarm clock in addition to um, a photo viewer so on and so forth. So in here you have access to a micro USB cable for charging up the MP4 player. It takes roughly three hours to completely charge and afterwards you'll get roughly 18 hours of continuous audio playback, which is pretty average and uh, good for an MP4 player. There's also a very impressive pair of uh, in-ear style headphones. These are much more expensive looking and uh, good sounding than your average pair of box headsets, uh, which is actually quite impressive. They are made out of aluminum alloy. There's a gold plated 3.5 millimeter jack. There's uh, spares uh, in terms of the silicon tips that you can swap out for a more comfortable fit. And they are just very impressive for something that's uh, so low already in price point that you get an act added value here. So something else to consider if you want to pick this up is you do get a pair of very good sounding headphones. So taking a quick look at the design of the MP4 player here, it is a very uh, modern looking but a bit boring in terms of the design. It's made out of a soft touch rubber material which uh, attracts not too much fingerprints. It's also very easy to grip which is nice to see. The front somewhat resembles an older generation iPod Nano but it's not too bad. The controls are fairly easy to navigate and maneuver. The front features access to a 1.8 inch TFT LCD display next to the branding by the company and there's also a pretty tactile and responsive control set which takes you to, to inside an application. There's also an ability for you to skip tracks. If you tap on volume once, it's going to change the actual volume controls next time that you press on these keys. There's also a play pause key. The bottom features access to a power on off switch. There's also the aforementioned micro USB port for charging and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The back features the aforementioned mono speaker and the side features a micro SD card slot for expanding the memory up to 128 megabyte, gigabytes. So if I want to press on the menu key for a few seconds, it actually takes me back into the home uh, menu. And the user interface here has been slightly tweaked by the manufacturer in a good way. Uh, it's a bit easier to navigate than other Shenzhen or Chinese-based MP4 players I've seen in the past, just because the uh, layout here makes a bit more sense. You have icons that you can navigate in a carousel-like view using the left and right keys, which correspond with how the icons will actually move. However, once you actually go into an application, instead of tapping on the center key, you have to tap on the menu key once, for instance. The MP4 player functionality is a bit limited by the file codecs that it supports. It actually does not support .mp4 files, but it does support some more uh, AMV as well as other converted formats that you can check out in the user manual. Otherwise, you have also a digital voice recorder, which works better than I expected. So it's going to be a good tool if you are a student or if you are someone that goes to conferences and business conferences a lot, that you can just sit down on a table and it's going to record voices and pick up sound. There's also a, again, aforementioned radio functionality, which has a built-in antenna. So you don't have to plug in a separate pair of headphones to use it. You can actually just uh, directly lay this down on a table, for instance, and it's going to start automatically going through a few different uh, channels and try to scan and find a a compatible channel that's in good quality. Um, otherwise, you can also change, of course, the sound. You can also record segments of radio directly into the built-in memory. I have found that, interestingly enough, the, the flash memory on here seems to be a little slower than I expected. When playing back music, there's a bit of a delay, but uh, not too crippling either. Now, Mahai does advertise this as a high-fidelity audiophile-grade pair, uh, audiophile-grade MP3, MP4 player which really comes across in the actual music performance segment. Uh, it does have a very good and clean and crisp sounding um, you know, audio performance if you play back uh, songs, but it isn't that much better than other uh, MP3 players in the same price bracket, which is something that you should take note of. Also, from the advertisements, I thought that this thing had a black and white monochrome screen, but in reality, it's just a color screen, uh, which may benefit you because it does have a bit more features than I expected, but on the flip side, it isn't as, uh, you know, 
cool looking in a sense because I thought the whole UI would be in black and white and it's kind of interesting in that retro sense. So that's something to quickly point out. There's also a ability for you to look back at uh, JPEG images and playback slideshows. Uh, again, the screen here is a little bit small, so you are limited to the viewing size. There's also a ebook reader, which is essentially a text reader. So it's going to display lines and lines of text. So you can just drop them into a notepad and then insert them into the device's memory using a computer, simply plug and play. And uh, afterwards, it's going to be decent for may maybe reminding you of any quick memos or maybe even some addresses and phone numbers. But if you really are reading books on here, it will be troublesome because you have to scroll a lot just to move up and down through the pages of text. There's also a browser, which is a file manager, which is pretty useful. It goes through the various uh, folders on here and allows you to directly see where things are and playback music directly, for instance. So I can also have separate tabs for a um, audiobook segment, for instance. So under tools, you have the aforementioned alarm clock function, which is uh, pretty easy to use. You can set different uh, tones as well as set different music as the alarm. And it's one of the nicer features on here. Since you can see on the top, there's actually a dedicated uh, time that you can set up. So you can see what the time is in addition to, again, the battery status out of three bars. And battery life here is decent. Again, it does a decent job uh, when you're not using it. It does reserve the battery to a pretty good extent. Finally, there are, again, settings for changing maybe the text as well as uh, after how many minutes the screen times out and goes to sleep. And there's just the aforementioned music player. The built-in mono speaker on the back here actually does a decent job of uh, playing back sound. It's a bit louder and uh, clean sounding than I expected, but again, it is an audiophile grade uh, speaker. So I would still recommend plugging in your own headphones or own speakers if you want to do that. Um, the menu here is pretty easy to maneuver and uh, navigate. There is a graphic equalizer, although there isn't cover art support. And you can see that the UI here is in black and white, so it does look pretty classy here. There's also skip track controls, different equalizer controls, as well as uh, changing the sound signature that you can set up. And after a few seconds, the tab actually cycles back and forth. And if you have lyrics or an artist, it's going to display it after a few seconds. So the UI here is actually pretty elegant and nicely thought out. All in all, I have to say that this is a pretty decent MP4 player, especially for the value. Um, it does make for a pretty compelling gift if you're giving this to a kid or you want to use it as a backup MP4 player or an MP3 player. Um, of course, these days, a lot of our smartphones already have these features built in, but the thing that you're getting here is simplicity as well as a pretty good audio performance. That is one of the highlights and high points here. Um, the added bonuses, including a very good pair of in-ear style headphones, are nice to see at such a low price point, and the presentation, as well as the addition of a micro SD card slot and a built-in speaker are also nice to find at this price point. You can check out more details about this in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This is the Mahai Digital MP4.